We're working now on part two of the first problem, uh, problem two of the practice exam. In your secure cloud computing system, a user rates each other user as trusted or untrusted. So right away, a, a user rates each other user. This sounds again to me like there's an edge and trusted or untrusted. That, that doesn't sound like a weight. If it was how much do they trust them, that would be a weight. Uh, but but it is two values. So are we going to have a weighted graph where edges are, are weighted like either is one or zero or maybe one or negative one? Or you could think about maybe trusted means there's an edge and untrusted means that there isn't or untrusted means there's an edge and trusted means there isn't. Um, so uh, I mean to me this feels more like an unweighted graph but let's reserve judgment until we keep going. Each user is allocated a virtual machine on a single physical machine, but many virtual machines may run on the same physical machine. Given the number of physical machines available, whoa, hey, underline that, so there is a number here, right, and maybe this is one of our thresholds. Can we allocate everyone to some physical machine without putting two users that distrust each other on the same physical machine? Oh yeah, there we go. So we want to allocate everyone to some physical machine and we've got a limit on the number of physical machines available. That sounds like the K in some problem with, with a threshold of some sort. Um, so for each of the users, we want to give them a machine. So we're assigning a machine to each user and we have a big set of choices of machines. Um, a user is a node, so we're kind of writing in the node the number of the machine that it's going to be on, and we're writing in another node the number of another machine that's going to be on, and we want to avoid uh, putting two users that distrust each other on the same machine. Uh, the problems that jump out at me here are problems that are about avoiding conflicts. Um, so that that's sort of the, the packing problems in general, uh, but independent set immediately sounds really promising because in independent set we want to avoid picking two nodes that have an edge between them. That would be like two nodes that distrust each other. Um, set packing maybe, except that we're with set packing we're concerned about more complex constraints like five users that you know want to form a basketball team together or something rather than two users always two that trust or distrust each other so probably not set packing uh, and graph coloring as well graph coloring seems really promising to me because we're we're labeling each of the nodes with the physical machine that it goes on and we've got k physical machines that we can put them on um, so that sounds tremendously promising to me. Otherwise, this number of physical machines in independent set, how does that relate to the, the number of users that we would pick? We'd, we'd have to change it so that the nodes of the graph were the physical machines instead, or something like that. Uh, but that, that doesn't really feel right. Um, so uh, let's try and hammer it out then. Um, graph coloring feels like the best fit to me right now, although independent set is definitely um, close on the list. Uh, so if it is graph coloring, it sounds like uh, each physical machine is a color. So a physical machine is a color. And then the number of colors is, is just the number of physical machines available. Um, the graph, uh, each user is going to be a node. Okay. Um, but hmm, distrust each other. Well, first of all, what does it mean to distrust each other? I guess it kind of doesn't matter because we, we just want to find the most similar problem, uh, but it, it's worth working out. I would say that distrust each other here really means at least one of the users distrusts the other user. They may both distrust each other, but if even one distrusts the other, then we're not going to count them as trusting each other, so we'll count them as distrusting instead. So what we'll probably want to do is, um, the graph actually sounds directed initially, right? Like this person distrusts that person, and also that person distrusts this person in turn. Uh, but we're going to sort of collapse it to an, uh, an undirected graph. And the way we're going to do it, um, if an arrow means distrust, we could decide it means trust instead, but if an arrow means distrust, then any, uh, any pair of nodes that has an edge between each other in either direction in the directed graph will have an edge between them in the undirected graph as well. And that way, if either user distrusts the other, we'll put this distrust relationship on them. Uh, and then does that correspond to this problem? 
well, yes, it does. In, in that case, what we're saying is, can we color the graph? Can we assign each user to a physical computer such that we never assign two users with an edge between them, two users that distrust each other, to the same color, which means the same physical computer? So this is a really tight match with graph coloring.